Hello Capricorn, how are you guys doing today? I hope you are doing good. We are going to be looking into why a breakup occurred and what was actually, excuse me, going on. So let's clear the space. If I can actually talk, I feel like having a hiccup right in the middle of your reading. Imagine, um, let me just clear the space and my hiccups of any previous energies and readings that have been on this table and send positive vibes to you guys out there. So let's get the main energy out here about what was the connection and why or what are we looking at the breakup? What was the energy here of this relationship? Ooh. Devil energy, it is your card, uh, it is the Capricorn energy showing up very strong in your reading. It's so interesting, I just had uh, the temperance show up for Sagittarius right in the same position, so that's interesting. Um, the master card coming up here, which is the... Um, the card that you have there, what I can tell, which is the devil card by the way, this connection... This is a very interesting one. Hey, um, I'm, I'm going to say some stuff here that I don't know how you're going to feel about. I kind of feel like for a lot of you guys, the connection had a lot to do with materialistic kind of things. It was more about what you could give them or, or what you look like with them kind of a vibe. It's more about it. It never went there to the heart. This was I feel like this relationship was an aesthetic it was for the for the look, for the masses. But it wasn't a connection between you and this person. This person could have gotten together with you because they liked how you looked, who you were, kind of feeling. Hmm. So, okay, I don't like that. Let's see the energy. Home, it has rocked up here. Virgo's energy and the Five of Swords. A lot of conflict. You see, this is the problem with this. Um, I do feel like this person got together with you, not because they, I, I don't even know if they ever bothered to take the time to really get to know you. Um, because I see the hermit card there, I almost see like the hermit is facing away from all of this energy that's going to be here. And it's like this person never really connected to you and never really got to know you. They just looked at you and said, Oh, that person, I want them. It's very um, egotistical energy. So they never really fell for you. They they wanted what you were or what you are kind of feeling. Wow, I don't know if you know that. Um, let's have a look at your energy. See, there is a problem there. Um, if somebody wants to be with you, let's put it straight out there. You cut them out. Yep, you did the right thing. I feel like you got a page of swords energy. This person made you angry. You guys, by the way, never even... I don't even know if you guys were friends with each other. Because of the Five of Swords being there, there's a lot of conflict between you and them. I don't even know if you guys really got along with each other either. You got, this person made you kind of like mad and I think you used to lose your temper with this person and some, sometimes get almost like this energy of getting worked up because of how they are. And then with the King of Swords coming up here, yeah, I feel like you cut them out, which I, honestly, I feel like you did the right thing. You know, you may be wondering, what's wrong with this person? Why were they behaving like this? Why were they like this? They didn't even know you. Um, all they were interested in was, and let's be straight. I mean, they could have been interested in what you look like, the way you look. They could have been interested in, in who you are, like the job you have or the family you come from, your standing, your status in life, or even how much money you have, the car you drive, the house you live in, the clothes you wear. And they were going, oh, I'm going with that. This is your reading. If this is your reading, Capricorn. Goodness me. And then the thing is now, they can come along and they can smile and hug you and kiss you and all those things. But that's not relationship. That's just passion. That's just romance. But where's the connection? The actual relationship does not involve all those things. Holding hands and laughing. The actual relationship involves two people who can sit in the same space together and get along with each other and not have conflict come up. The conflict comes up because they're only interested in what is on that outside. They were never really interested in what lies on the inside and that's why conflict was coming up. Mm. Let me tell you, if you broke up with them, you did that thumbs up. You did the absolute right thing because this person, I feel like they were just using you. Um, yeah, you got a page of wands coming up here and they haven't given up yet. I feel like Spirit Guide is telling me something here. I'm just going to tell you this person's going to try again. Yep, Eight of Swords, you won't allow them. Yes, they may have tried again as well. You won't allow them. 
good. I'm just saying because I don't like that. Uh, this, um, mm -mm. Um, the Eight of Swords coming up here, this is totally you not allowing them to come back in. I feel like they try. They try or they have tried in the past year and you just like, no, no, no. Let's see what this card is. The Leo card has rocked up here as well. Strength. And the Seven of Swords. Yeah, you will allow them to come back in here. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I'm going to tell you, I don't think for some of you guys, it's not the first time this has happened. Um, it's really funny. Um, I think a lot of people, they wish sometimes, I wish I was this... Uh, you know, this famous person, you know what I mean? I wish I was a famous person. I wish I was rich. I wish I was the most beautiful or handsome person like alive, you know what I mean? But I think there's a small price that gets paid when you do have those kinds of things. Not that I would know, I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Because a lot of times people approach you and you don't really know if it's for you or if it's for the things or who you are and not just the person you, not even who you are, but the the cloak, you know, the outer cloak that you wear, not the true inner part of yourself. And it's so interesting that that's the truth over there. How interesting is that? It's like people are looking at this aesthetic of who you are and they never really want to see that, that heart that you keep there waiting for somebody to actually see you. And I feel like this person, and I honestly feel for this reading, a couple of you guys, it's happened more than once before. There's a seven of swords here. It tells me something that has happened before for you guys. I don't really know if you're currently in a relationship right now, but if you're not, guys, there is a singles reading. I'm doing that one next after this one. Um, just hit that notification bell. Even hit the subscribe button. So you, uh, the, no, the subscribe button and the notification bell. So you know when it comes out. But there is your strength card coming up there. This person's determined determined you know it's almost like i'm seeing this vibe of a gold digger you know what i mean or this person who's just even if they look let me tell you i don't think they're like a weak person but they just want to have a person that's in a certain standing that they feel like matches with them and they're not a person that gives up this person won't give up very easily they, they only go for a specific type and you were their type um, you did the total right thing. I'm so curious to see now last card that comes out here and it's basically flipped. I can't ignore what I just saw. Success and growth. Uh, that's you. <laughs> that's basically you. And we were just talking about why people are coming towards you. A lot of people are approaching you not because they see you. They're approaching you because they, um, they see your success and growth and not you. I can't leave you guys like this. I want to ask spirit guides, your spirit guides, is there going to be somebody that sees my Capricorn's heart? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. you got a queen of pentacles rocking up here. You're going to be with somebody who is like you. Oh. You're matching because the Queen of Pentacles energy is literally Capricorn's energy as well. You're going to be matching with somebody who's got the same problem as you. Somebody who's like, this has been happening to me as well. And they're going to see your heart because no one has ever seen theirs. Oh my goodness, Capricorn. Bring up the emotions, Zebra. There you go. This is going to, this is your messages from your spirit guides. Thank you so much for hearing them and for watching the video. I'm sending love and light in your direction. Bye.